Hello and welcome to my 3D printing area. This is a follow-up from a video I made quite a while ago. The printer you're looking at here is the Dash X. It's been converted to direct drive. Uh, you might have, might have seen in the earlier video there was a BMG style extruder here. There's your filament sensor and the extruder was right here and it pushed the filament down through this long tube over to a waiting hot end. Uh, the printer started to exhibit problems and I decided it was time to upgrade anyway because I wanted higher speed and better support for the flexible filaments. What you're looking at here is Dash X. It hasn't changed uh, mechanically. Uh, it's the same crossbeam design. What you may realize or may know if you've looked at the design is that the hot end was able to be unbolted using just three screws. I'll see if I can get a better view of it here. And the what you see in yellow is an adapter plate that allowed me to mount the stock Himera. Uh, let's see there, Himera direct drive with the V6 hot end on it. So I can get down low where you can see the thing running. And by virtue of doing this, I've achieved much greater speed, greater reliability. The amount of retraction went from almost nine millimeters, which was huge and problematic, down to less than one half of a millimeter of retraction. I've eliminated, or it has eliminated, all of the blobs and marks and stray and stringing and oh, just a, a regular panoply of, uh, of defects that would show up. So you can get a better view. Now as you can see I've mounted the uh, BL Touch on there and I will be putting this design once I've finalized everything up onto open builds and anyone can download it, use it, change it, whatever you like. I'll put it up there in SolidWorks format. Let me get back a little bit so you can see the thing more completely. I'll put up SolidWorks files plus STP plus the uh, STLs. Now what's new here is the part in yellow. Uh, you'll see that it uses a, has like a, a support right in the middle. You're gonna get a, get a better view of it. And that yellow rod is a flexible rod that goes up and over and it provides a support for the wires that you know are needed uh, separately arcing over is of course the what used to be the Bowden tube but now it's just a passive way to get filament over to the hot end without it getting tangled and I did not want to put a uh, filament a reel holder up above the printer so I hope you uh, enjoy looking at this. It's been a marvelous change and uh, one I would highly recommend. And if you do end up building a Dash, I would love to hear from you. Uh, let's get the name right. A Dash X Direct is what I'm calling it. And uh, it, it, was, uh, it was a good thing to do. It took about a day of conversion and of course you'll need a working printer in order to make the uh, the parts so enjoy uh, email me if you if you need to or message me and I'll uh, reply as soon as I can thank you so much and happy printing